Reaction to the Supreme Court's verdict was almost immediate. A group of Yusuf Reza Gilani supporters responded in anger outside the courts after learning Pakistan's longest serving prime minister was stripped of his job. Some of the court's lawyers, meanwhile, welcomed the verdict. This is a golden day in the Pakistan's history whereby it has been held that whether it's the Prime Minister of the country, whether if it's the son of the Chief Justice or whether it's any other layman, all are equal before the eyes of law. Away from the courts, people had mixed reactions to the news. We have bigger issues in the country right now. We're wasting our time with this one case. This is a proper accountability for this government. The only and only institution in this country that is held in the government, current government accountable. At an emergency meeting, the ruling Pakistan People's Party agreed to accept the Supreme Court's decision, and it's expected to confirm Gilani's replacement on Wednesday. Two months ago, Gilani was convicted of contempt for refusing to ask Swiss authorities to reopen a corruption investigation against the president, maintaining Asif Ali Zardari had immunity as head of state. Mr. Zardari's lawyers realize that he may not be on a very strong wicket when they assert immunity, especially in relation to criminal matters. And we're dealing with the Supreme Court with which uh, they've been ha they, they're in a running battle from day one. Complicating matters for the government, as part of the Supreme Court's ruling, any decisions made by Gilani since his April 26 contempt of court conviction can now be challenged. And in that time, he's made several, including on the national budget. Many view the Supreme Court's verdict as the latest blow in an ongoing row between the Chief Justice, Iftikhar Chaudhry, and the President, Asif Ali Zardari, and that Gilani was caught in the middle of this ongoing row. Whatever the case, Pakistan has been plunged into fresh political turmoil, and the ongoing conflict between the judiciary and the government is only likely to continue. Impiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Islamabad.